Academy. It's closing time at Hillcrest Academy. So to see it go like this, um, is, it, it's heartbreaking. Kids got a lot out of this program. For the last 12 years, Rite of Passage operated the residential treatment program for at-risk youth by taking a holistic approach to working with kids. The privately held company hoped to have a longer future here in Hamilton County. But in May, county leaders announced it was terminating its contract with Rite of Passage. The announcement came after a staff member, 50-year-old Francine Thomas, was accused of sexually abusing a 15-year-old boy who was in the program. She was fired immediately. It's unprecedented. I've, I've worked in different facilities. We have these incidents. Public schools have these incidents. They don't close public schools down. When programs like this disappear, a whole alternative in the juvenile justice system disappears. The fear is, without a program like Hillcrest up and running, more at-risk teens will end up back on the streets. Local educators, Hillcrest employees, and pastors fought to save the program. But Hamilton County has other plans that don't include rite of passage. Yeah, it's a shame. I think this thing could have been worked out much, much more professionally and uh, worked out in a manner that, that helped kids and staff didn't lose their jobs. At a recent listening session, the Hamilton County Juvenile Courts said it planned on finding another operator to run the facility, and it will remain an educational and residential treatment center. Juvenile Courts says the ultimate goal is to create the best possible education and residential treatment program across the country. And the county hopes to select a new provider by early next year. But in documents provided to me by county leaders late this afternoon, uh, documents state that it's going to take at least 10 months for renovations to be done here before a center can reopen. Reporting live in Springfield Township tonight, Karen Johnson, WLWT News 5. Karen, uh, explain to us how many employees are being impacted here by this closure? Yeah, about between 60 and 70 right of passage slash Hillcrest employees is what I'm told. However, some chose to relocate to other states to keep their job with right of passage. I do want to mention the county did say for the next two weeks, anyone who apply, applies with the Hamilton County Juvenile Courts who came from right of passage, uh, their applications will be prioritized. Aaron Johnson reporting live for us. In Springfield Township, she's been all over this issue. Thanks so much for the update. In other news and new.